Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass stands a real blade of grass. Be careful as you pass. Move along, move along. Come inside, the show's about to start. Anyway, um, just thought I'd throw a little bit of ELP up in there, uh, Carnival, uh, Carnival First Impression Part 2. Uh, love those guys. I've actually uh, been able to meet Greg Lake and, and share a few text messages and emails with him as well due to him being a close personal friend of my uncle. Uh, very cool thing when you find out that one of your musical idols is friend friendshiply connected to a family member. Um, welcome back to Chrono Cross, everybody. Uh, this is my eighth episode for the day. Uh, I'm just, I'm just making a day out of Chrono Cross. Absolutely love it. I think I'll play Secret World a little later on, but right now I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked on Phonics. Ah, it's attacking the jump at us. I don't like it. I did make food. Um, I made one of my my protein shakes. Because I, I did eat a hamburger earlier today, which is obviously not ideal. Uh, let's check out. Oh man! Yeah, look at that power! Now well, let's check out his first third level tech skill. Read the crap that copy the shit at you, Charles. Oh, that was nice. That was fantastic. Um, let's throw a boomerang at somebody. Out in Pathfinder and DD, I want to make. A character that utilizes uh, um, boomerangs, but I'd have to throw a turn in on it. Uh, technique learned from a correspondence course. Okay, jump throw. Uh, because boomerangs and path iron do not come back to you. If he's talk for us, we need to put the returning property on him, which is an enchant. I don't want to do that. Anywho, uh, just finished setting up a Twitter for this channel as well, which makes me feel awkward. Good job, Zap. Good health. You too, Van. Um, sorry, I got oatmeal in my teeth. Um, oh yeah, I, I'm not a big social media guy. Like, you know, I've had MySpace when I was younger, and I've switched to Facebook when it became the thing and whatnot. But I don't tweet, really. I don't uh, do Instagram or any of that stuff, because I'm super cool, I guess. Uh, but you know, I, I mean, if, I, if I want this to work, I gotta put the work into it, yeah? And uh, might as well try every every venue possible. Um, you know, one person likes it, that person has a friend that's like, oh, I like that too, blah, blah, blah. You know, just it, it could help make a stream of, of followers, which would be fantastic. I don't see myself getting as popular as the likes of Maze Mash, and definitely not as popular as uh, Epic Name Bro, who I think is. I'm not going to say he's quartering a million viewers, but, uh, subscribers, but I think he's like at 600,000 last I checked. Which is insane. I mean, I mean, that's just that's just insane. It's a huge number. Um, but you know, if I could have 100, 200, that'd be fantastic for me. If I saw that people were actually watching these videos, that'd, be, that'd feel amazing. Um, so you know, and right now I'm still rather inspired to keep going. I just don't want to lose that uh, that that boom. But either, anyway, you know, this is a great way to be like, hey dude, you should really play some classic video games from your childhood. Hey look, a monkey. You know you gotta shock the monkey. Monkey. And I do prefer Ozzy's uh, cover of that song. I believe Peter Gabriel was like a shock the monkey. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It's been a bit since I've actually listened to that tune. But I do like Ozzy's uh, cover, of that, cover of it. I think he did a really good job. Uh, when he released his Prince of Darkness uh, box set, he did one one of the discs was complete disc of covers of things he's wanted to do his entire life. Apparently, like he did Fire, Fire, I lead you to burn uh, by Arthur something. I uh, can't remember his name at the moment, but it was really cool. Um, he did something by John Lennon. Um, which one did he do? I'm not sure which John Lennon song. He did. What? That thing just attacked the monkey! Rude! 
hell? Kablam! Oh, I missed that show, Kablam. Y'all remember that stuff from Nickelodeon? Kablam! It had it was like a sketch show for the Nickelodeon. Uh, aside from all that, that is. Uh, but they had a uh, uh, Justice League Now or something that that hero thing was called. The Flesh. He's super strong and super naked. I said that as a kid at a at a after school where they watch you thing. You know, play. I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Um, and a kid told on me. He freaking told on me. And a teacher came up to me, or whatever she was, came up. She's like, "You can't say that. It's unacceptable." Well, I was like, "You're joking. It's on. It's on basic television for children." And then, you know, I think it was actually at that age that, and I want to say I was maybe nine or ten. So it was at that age that I started being like, but "I actually had to be younger than that. I wasn't. I hadn't even gone none." Uh, Maybe I was eight or eight or so, seven or eight, and I was just like, "Are you serious? There are people that are that uptight?" And I was, as a kid, I was just shocked by it. I was blown away. Oh, hey, we can still. Oh, I guess we can't summon stuff. I don't really want to fight these guys. Oh, let's fast forward it. Sorry. And I was just like, "I, I can't believe that crap." They, they, I got told on for saying super strong. It's like, is is being naked that bad? I mean, yeah, I was back in, you know, like, 98 or 99 or something, but but still, it's like, you're kidding me, right? It's, I was just baffled, and, it was, and so I, I learned at a very, I came to the ideas at a very young age that uh, being offended or, or what have you is, is a stupid, stupid thing. It does nothing for you. It doesn't do anything to you for more than a minute or so. And, ooh, treasure chest. Don't even dare. Okay, well, who the hell are you? Hey, you guys want to join me for some hot stew? It'll cost you though, let's see. I know, bring me a mushroom. I'll give you that treasure if you're able to find one and it won't impress me. Okay. I have a feeling that is uh, Lena's dad. Is that her name? Lisa. Lisa's dad. Uh, he's, we found a man in the forest who's obsessed with mushrooms. Think he's getting high as hell, you know what I mean? Uh, but he's actually going to be our next party member. I have not used him, I want to say, since my first playthrough ever. Um, and I really like them. It's just there's so many characters in this game I try to use on ones that are new to me. But we're gonna get rid of Vaughn because I'm sorry, I don't care about him. He's weaker than hell. So let's actually let's use Vaughn right now. He's a green, let's check out his level 5 tech skill if we can get up to it. I believe this will hit everybody as much like Rod users. Yeah it will. So you know it has the same downfall if you don't hit. Modify field. Throw artist paint spots all over the place. Okay. I guess we're going with blue. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Um, I mean, if it wasn't freaking random, it'd be an amazing way to be like, I'm gonna change the field color to this so I can use an element. But, you know, that's that's pretty cool in my opinion. That was neat. Now we're getting a lot of eagle eyes. Those are really good. Use those on an ally and you know, they just hit anything. Uh, with a three. Ooh, trap carnivore. I don't think we'll be able to use that until a very specific boss. But, anyway, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, I wonder if we can avoid everything. And it looks like we did. That's cool. Now, there used to be a treasure chest in there in another world, but we're not in another world, are we? We're in the home world. I wonder if they have the same issue here. Oh, it looks like it's still covered up. Paz said he saw a great item and went inside this cave, but then a big huge rock fell down and now Paz trapped. Papa! It won't budge. Ah, there's a way to get him out. Um I think I know where it is. Ah, go away, go away, go away! Give me love, give me love. I think I go up here and I think I like scare a bug or something. Ah, give me love. Don't touch me! Ah, oh, go away, don't touch me! Oh, that just happened. 
Okay. I think I will figure it out. I'll figure it out, don't worry. But right quickly we will dispatch up these heathens. Let's use Zappa because he's red, they're blue, so yeah, they're life and silk. Mmm, eat it, sucker. Or as Booker T would say, can you dig it, sucker? I was a huge WWF fan for a long time and Wow! Wow, that was atrocious. That's a good way of saying we're not keeping that little honky. But yeah, I did like that, so I mean, I know it was in WC. Oh, really? <laughs> we just bought two of those. Oh, well. This is areas under 4 armor to. Wow. No admittance until the vest is shot up. Maybe it's just back down here? I need to find a, a a bug that's just sitting still. So it's not that one. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. So we scare it. We jump in there, and the dad's just gonna flip balls. Whoa! I made it out. Yep. I made it inside, okay, but I couldn't find the exit. Thanks for your help. Please, accept this as a token of my appreciation. I found inside this cave. Thanks for received the mushroom. I'll go talk to the kid, see if he says something different for us, saving his dad. Pause back! Really? Fine. I didn't want a gift from you, too. I'll save this mushroom. Oh, we got the spirit. The spirit. Whenever there's a customer, a blacksmith will be there. Just summon the master smith spirit. Okay. Oh, there's a the mushroom. An expensive delicacy found only in the Guardi Guard Guardia region. It's sort of like truffles without the chocolate. <laughs> that sounds gross. So we're gonna go give this to that weirdo and hope we don't have to do any unnecessary combat. Yeah, maybe. But well, we're probably gonna run into something in here. Show me your moves. If someone can remind me what that's from. I'd be grateful because I don't remember. Show me your moves. Uh, might be Mega Man X4, actually. Arrgh! A lot of weird things in that game. I don't think so, though. I don't know. I might remember someday randomly. Like, I remember a lot of stuff at random points of time. And we shall battle pets. Drink more of my shake thing. Pretty good shake, um, milk, about a quarter to a half cup of oatmeal, a banana, um, vanilla protein powder, cinnamon, and I forgot to put it in today for some reason, but normally there's peanut butter in it. So a good amount of, of protein, good amount of, of healthy fats, um, cinnamon's good for you somehow, I don't really know how, I just heard multiple health people and dietitians tell me it is, and I forget to ask, well, what is the benefit? But hey, might as well get in my system because I really don't intake a lot of um, uh, cinnamon, in all honesty, because I don't eat sweets, and that's kind of how a lot of Americans get it, in my experience. Son of a taco. You can see why I sped it up for you guys, because I just knew this would happen. Yes, yes, yes. Whoosh, whack! Ah, that's taking a while. Um, but it's quite good. You know, a lot of good protein and all that stuff, and so it, it's a good filler. And it takes, you know, about a minute to make, <laughs> which is hard to beat. Damn you, monkey. I was like, where does it come from where someone sits there and yells at a monkey? That's Dexter's laboratory. No, monkey, no! What's up, cool guy? Here, take... Why do I keep missing it? There it is. There, take this. That was a not facing him, seriously, that's it. Maybe I just talk to him. That works too. Hey, let me see that mushroom. Whoa, this is a rare mushroom found only in Guardia. Or so it seems. Anyway, what do you say we make a deal? Good mushroom for my treasure? Except, it's better be good. Oh, this is rich fragrance. 
Chomp, chomp. Mmm. The way it melts in your mouth, yet how firm texture brings that flavor. D. Oops, got diarrhea. <clears throat> Delicious. Man, that was good. What? Do I have something on my face? Yep. Kind of looks like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> With a hat. Huh? <laughs> Chew! Snuffle, snuffle. Huh? What the? You a mushroom monster? How could you do this to me? It's all your fault. I did not. Sorry. Ah, you know, why don't you join us? The frozen flame should be able to change you back to normal. Fine, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll stalk you to the depths of hell. Uh-huh. Chew! That's weird. But yeah, we're gonna use him. He's funny. Fun guy joins your party! Okay, bye I like how that kid says that. I think it's really funny. And he's yellow. Man, he's weak as fuck. Well, fuck it. So we're gonna use him. We're gonna use him. So we're gonna swap him out for another different character soon enough. Forest charm. It's gonna be like all the other charms for a green element. I'm not going to actually equip him with shit, to be honest with you. I should. Where's Vaughn? There he is. Let's take this good stuff off him, give him some ivory. Ebony and ivory come together in perfect harmony. Side by side my piano and keyboard. Oh lord, why can't we? Is that how the song goes? I don't really know. I'll give him that. Elements, take them away and give them to him. And I'm just making sure they go. Up evil. Bolt, we'll put it over her. Jolt, right there. Give him some lores. Inferno. Give, oh no. Give him an aqua ball. We just don't want to give him green, really. Ash Blast. Fooler Pooler. Actually, I think that might be a heal to give him. Yeah, he, he can have a cover all. That's good. And a revive. And a cure. Hell so. Hey, it's both part of my name. Wow, wow, wow. Nope, no, we want Photon Ray. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough. Let's look at his stuff. Mushroom Man, age unknown. Well, we can tell him the age of the old man. Terminus, 6 foot, 60, 66 pounds. Oh, I guess his mushrooms aren't very dense. His build is light and he's right handed. And he uses an axe. It holds him in a weird direction. But oh well. Let's go check out how this man is. Um, Soon we're going to get a boat. Yeah, I'm on a boat. Never thought I'd be on a boat. It's a big, big wild water hero. I don't know. Beside him. Look at me now! Remember when uh, Lonely Island Boys did a song with T-Pain? I'm not much for hip-hop or rap, but I do like some of T-Pain's stuff. Uh, let's check out his lumberjack. Make like a woodcutter and chop those to pieces! Oh, he's yellow and these are, are green. Not amazing damage in all honesty, but I mean, hey, it's a thing. Come on, Link. Good on you, boy. Good on you. Alright, old man, let's do this. I really do like Fun Guy's uh, level 7 tech skill a lot. It's really funny. Um, so whenever we do get it, I will bring him back into the party to show y'all. Let's see what his other one. Spore Cloud. Shoot a cloud of spores from the mushroom cap. And I do love that it's a single target, so it's fantastic on bosses if we keep them around. That's funny. He just like blows it at him. Wow, that was good damage. That was a massive upgrade from his uh, level 3. Hmm. Sorry, I'm drinking that thing too. Fun guy!
Boy. It's really neat to me to see the um, difference in speed of a game by having videos of them. Like, um, I just upload. I'm uploading another video of Lunar Silver Star Story right now. And I was like, holy shit, I went from there to there in a single episode? While in this game, it's like, I did a little bit. <laughs> but Lunar's a much, it's an older game than this. I mean, it was originally made on Sega Saturn. So, you know, it had a different production value to it. Um, part That's part of its charm, though, as well, too. You know, it's, it's very low in graphical detailing. Uh, but let's go look at Viber Manor. Look at it. It does not look to be in the best shape. See if they will let us in. The Pori Army is currently investigating. This area is off limits until things clear up. Okay. What I miss in town then? Hmm. Guide says that they should recognize me. Oh, I. Didn't talk to one freaking dude in Termina. Ah, Dios mio. So let's get on over to him. I'll tell you what, boy. I'll tell you what. You gotta talk to the guard next to the docks. Can it be you, Sir Lynx? You are safe, sir? Where have you been all this time? We have set up a temporary military dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from Commander Norris, not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Please report... Blah. Please report your current status to him immediately. The third, with the present third! Okay, now we can go back. My bad. If we had Radius in the party, he would have some interesting dialogue to say, and so we'll actually get him in the party so he will so he can have some interesting dialogue to say. I wonder if uh, Harold would say something neat too. I've never had her there. So we'll find out. But uh, since uh, Radius was an Acacia Dragoon, seeing the world, the Viper, the manor in this place. Oh, look, they just let us pass now. Which was? Um, uh, he, he's a, a little sensitive about the destruction of the manor. Gotta keep hydrated, you know. And he takes the front lead. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. Ah, <sighs> time should us fly. I was shocked to hear of Dario's death three years ago, and now the General and the others are missing. The matter is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I have discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the General and has involved him in some kind of incident. The only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the General three years ago. I just hope that this Norse fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. I do not find it amusing. Ah, oh, so she did have a special dialogue. Very cool. I believe we... Oh, let's check up here because there was a treasure chest earlier, but no. Hey, there's people up inside the room. That's cool. I wonder why they blew it up, though. Seems a bit stupid. Sir Norse is in the basement. Please enter through the well. Okay. So then we're gonna have combat. Huh. Kinda hope not, in all honesty. <laughs> but if we do, I mean, this they really shouldn't be terribly difficult, in all honesty. I think there's like a little puzzle. Yeah, you can't complete it because this douchebag is literally in the prison is up ahead, sir. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll come here again, and the guards will be gone, and there will be monsters to encounter, but not this time. So let's go snag this treasure chest, though, while we are here. Mythical helmet, very nice. So see, you'd push that in, and you'd push in the other treasure, or other barrel as well. it will float down to that spot, get stuck, and you'd be able to walk across. So eventually we'll be able to do that, but the Pori army is interfering, so they can kind of, you know, tell us what to do story-wise, which is fine. Sneeze time. Ow! Hi, sir. Um, that's what I really like about this game's lack of grinding, the fact that it's all S levels. Star levels, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Um, to where it's locked. To where you just let it, you, you get to continue with the story without screwing shit up. Of, you know, taking elongated periods of time of 
of um, elongated periods of, of grinding. Not that I don't like grinding, but I mean, sometimes it's like, wow, you fucked up my story. So, Lynx, it's been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor's in shambles. There's still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investigating the area, but it appears the frozen flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than I last remember. That's a weird bloody question. You are correct, this man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a dragoon. Although I've been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former four Davis? It is an honor to meet you, sir. Says the guy from a warring country, okay? I believe you, sir, but it is still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. Sure. It is up to you what you believe, what you want to believe. So, what business did you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Cough it. <coughs> Sorry. Very well, I will tell you what I know. Wow, you guys are like the worst jet people for your country ever. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted it, its very existence, so I was sent to El Nido Archipelago to spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it appeared as General it appeared as though General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Pori, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. Oh, so Pori didn't destroy it. I heard only recently that there is a good evidence that the General and his men head to the Dead Sea. Ooh, that's not good. Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail. We could not find. We could find no entrance. Durr. We'll see why later. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change this distorted world using the frozen flame. Come on, Harold. Ooh la la, such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Hold your tongue, Harlequin. Is what? Is that? So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just this may just be the clue we're looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plan, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There's no way to get there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it either. Oh, we'll find out. Yes, I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the demi humans of Marbury will know something about this, but they detest humans, especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the Frozen Flame really exists and about everything that has happened here. What about you? Hmm? Moi? But of course, I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. Alright. So she likes the body, not the spirit. There's a military boat docked in Terna. Let us use that. There we got a boat! Norris enlisted in your party. Because he's a military man. I freaking don't like Norris. He's so boring. I think he's weak as fuck, too. Let's get our peoples back. You can come. And you can come. He's dead. Okay, that means he's not weak. He's, no, he's not strong, but he's not weak either. He's a mix down. He uses a gun. It's weird. Not a big fan of guns, which is weird because we're going to use a gun character for a bit. But he's adorable, so you have to use him. Are we going to teleport to fucking. Oh, that's so awesome. We just teleport to Termina. Is this our boat? No, that's not our boat. Silly. That's our boat. Get out of my way, fool! Board the boat? Okay, let's go. So, we're going to call this episode here. And the next episode, we're going to recruit our first white innate character of this... Uh, section of the game. You know, we, we have a new party list this time. So everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you on the next episode of Chrono Cross. Hope you enjoyed.